I'm trapped in the elevator. It won't let me down. I'm literally sweating already. I haven't had to lift up this bag in a long time. Now I'm running. What's up everyone, Sam Antini here, and I got an exciting video for you guys. Basically, I got some ice time with Steve McKeekin from Future Pro Goalie. He started doing some on ice sessions with goalies, and I reached out and said, I know a lot of beer league goalies are gonna go out and probably think that they're just in the same shape they were before they had this whole break, and they're probably gonna get injured, and I know I might do that because I, I'm gonna push myself. So I asked him, hey, can you help me out? I really want to get into a little bit better shape and kind of ease myself back onto the ice so I don't get injured and then have to be out for even longer. And luckily he had a spot open today, Friday at 10 a.m. But to be honest, a full hour might be too much for me at this point. Who knows? Anyways, guys, enjoy the video. I gotta go. All right, here we go. Got dressed outside for the first time. Uh, now we're gonna go inside. Yeah, this feels weird. Alright. You been on the ice at all since this? No. This is the first time since. Right. Luckily there's no rust on my skates. That's good. Let's yeah. so move me down at this end here. Okay, perfect. So I got no tape on my stick. I was going to tape it before my first game. And uh, I didn't do that because I didn't know this was going to happen. And then forgot to buy some tape. We're going to start off with some crease movements to begin with. Okay. And I don't want you to go 80, 90, 100% which I would normally require my athletes when you're doing movement drills, I want them always full effort, except for now, because we're like coming off an injury. And if you're an NHL goalie, I was training that had been out of the lineup for four weeks. Yeah. We're not gonna go into it hard and heavy. We're gonna start feeling it. Yeah. So basically what I'm gonna have you do is just grab that post, step out to the short side angle, okay. back to that post, back to the middle angle, back to there, out to this angle. So you're going bingo back, bingo back, bingo back. Okay. And about 70%. Just gentle, gentle and controlled. Here we go. Yeah, so just here. Yeah. And then yeah. here. Yep. Switch posts. Excellent. So we're gonna build lots of rest in between too because the gap between drills is where we get people into high fatigue quickly. Yeah. So we want to build in a lot of rest which will give me some time to, to chat and coach with you so we're gonna go to the top of the crease and start now you know do a, a violent butterfly where your knees go down hard okay. pivot plant full recovery over to here in a deep stance butterfly get up butterfly get up butterfly get up butterfly get up so it's hard knees hard knees hard knees with a full recovery in between your T pushing to the next target hard knees full recovery up and then yep T push yep down Go back to this side for one second. So dropping your butterfly here. If you're gonna go this way, you wanna get up to your right leg. Yeah. And you wanna have a pivot, plant, and a push. So get back in that position again. So if you know you're gonna be going this way, yeah. you wanna pivot, plant, throw that right leg up, and then get over there. So you really wanna get the chest squared to the new angle early in the recovery. All right, keep going. Pivot, that's it. Excellent. Yeah, okay. So now we're gonna get stick involvement going. Ready? Sure. That's it. Sure. Sure. Perfect. You're gonna be at the top of the crease facing Rizzo. He's gonna slide a pass down to me. I'm gonna cradle it and send it right back to him. In response to the pass to me, diagonal slide down to me. Immediately when I return it, set that foot and get yourself back. He's gonna shoot one from the high slot. You want me up or you want me to sit down? You're gonna slide down, come back up. Come back up. And the, dis the decision point on that is, 
If the guy's gapped on you and you have time, you always want to get back to your feet. But if the return pass I was giving him was here, yeah. then you'd slide back down. You, get, you grab your edges and get up on your feet when he's gapped out that far. Catch and release, 70 percenters. Here we go. Good save, good follow. Good job, Sammy. Atta boy. Nice. Way to seal it in the gut. Excellent job. Great save. Nice. So yeah. one thing you notice when you get fatigued, you'll elevate in your stance, which is what's happening there, which is fine. Yeah. Once you recharge and catch your breath, we're going to go the opposite way. And I know when my athletes, when they're starting to struggle cardio-wise, because their vision, instead of looking at me, they start looking above my head, <laughs> and they, their head starts going, yeah. and I know the puking's coming next. So same thing opposite side. For anybody who hasn't been staying in shape, you're going to regret it. Great save, Sammy. Nice save. Where is it? Where is it? Locate, locate. Great job, kid. That's all right. We got it. Moment the puck is here off my stick is when your invitation is to start moving. On this type of a bing bang play, you can't track the puck to here and go, oh, sh I better get off the post. If it's this close to him, it's already in. Once it's one inch off my stick, you go. Great save. Good collapse. Good collapse, Sammy. Oh, you didn't quit on it. Good try, Sam. Good try. Now, remember, I've got zero angle here. I can't score. So just be careful on your back leg. You're not giving me something to bank it off of. Great job, Sammy. So watch this. Ultimately, you knew he was there. Yeah. And this guy's got 0% chance to score. So in this type of a play, if this being your chest squareness here, when you're hugging the post, you don't want to have anything like this where you're over here square. You want to have it preset where your chest is square to the guy that's going to get it. So that when you come off there, you don't have to do any rotation to get to him. All you're doing is just pushing off that post and you're already square to the guy that might get it. So if you can try to sort of anticipate where he is, you get your shoulders and nipples facing it. Great save, battle, battle. Good job, Sammy. Hey, set your chest on him, set your chest on him. All right, two more, Sammy. If you stop these last two, he's got to do 10 push-ups. Two saves for 10 push-ups. Here we go. Nice. Get him done, Rizzo! All right, catch your breath. We're gonna do 10 breakaways. Right. Two things can happen on any breakaway, shot or deke. And a lot of goalies get into the trap of being too conservative on their initial angle. And then they have to respond to fakes that look like shots. If a guy shoots, he's got five ways to beat you. Top corners, five hole, bottom corners. If he dekes, he's only got left or right. So if you let a guy that's high-end player have five ways to beat you, yeah, it's, gonna it's gonna happen. Yeah. The biggest thing I can say is wherever your comfort, depending on your backwards skating is, when you set your initial angle, hesitate there almost too long. Some people get on their horse when the guy's coming in fast and they get nervous, they start backing in too soon, and then you open up the shooting space again and you negate the purpose of challenging in the first place. So try to have good fake resistance and lay off the first piece of bullshit you see. Wait for the real move. Atta boy, Sammy! Oh, Sammy! I got 
got to slide that one. Good save, Sammy. boy. That's it. Last one, Sammy, last one. Sorry, Sammy. So you're gonna be throwing up soon? Is that what you're saying, Sam? I've never thrown up on the ice or in any kind of athletic thing. I'm close to it. All right, yeah. Sammy. Listen, this last skating drill is gonna take about 12 seconds, give or take. I'm gonna time you, and I've got a time for Traff for Oilers. And I'm gonna see how you compare to him, and if you can beat that tall, lanky goofball. Good job. Excellent job today. All right guys, I'm sorry that I'm shirtless. You're not allowed getting dressed or undressed in the actual arena. So I had to get dressed outside. It was nice to get on the ice, feel the puck for the first time. It's kind of like riding a bike. You don't forget how to do the movements, but your body definitely needs to build up that energy to be able to do it over and over properly. The whole practice, I probably didn't do one thing right, but ultimately, this is what you need to do and you gotta understand that you're gonna fail when you first start out, especially if you had a long break like I have, haven't done anything workout related, besides a few, a little bit of running here and there, but that's not what's gonna prepare you for, for getting back on the ice. So if you're like me and didn't work out or do anything physical during, you know, during this break, then uh, you're gonna feel it. You're definitely gonna feel it. And if you're not gonna play for a little while, start now. But overall, it was great, don't get me wrong, getting some ice time, I'll never complain about it. It's just, it really hits you hard when you realize how much you've been uh, not doing. And it, your game speaks. It's all it is. What you do on the ice tells this whole story, you know? I didn't have to say anything. I could have lied the whole time saying I've been working out. But the moment you see me on the ice, you know I haven't been, so. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Now, if you haven't yet, go and check out last week's video. I actually have a great conversation with Steve after this practice about what you guys need to consider before getting back on the ice after this long break. So go and check out that video because we also talked about TPSHGoalie.com and how he wants to be involved, which is super exciting because having somebody like Steve as a goalie coach in there will provide so much awesome value for you guys. And I know it's gonna be super helpful for anybody who is just getting back on the ice who's never played goalie before, or even those of you who have been playing all your life like me. It's gonna be amazing, so make sure you go to tpshgoalie.com. And just so you guys know, I am gonna be closing registration down in one week. I know I said I was gonna be closing it down at the beginning of July, but because of everything that happened, I just wanted to keep it open for a little bit longer. So if you haven't yet, go to tpshgoalie.com, take a look, watch the video, and just so you know, if you don't register now before I close down registration, once I reopen it later on in a couple months from now, and with all that new content from Steve, the price will actually be going up to $47 a month. So if you wanna go in and lock in your $9 a month, go do that now because if you don't, you'll never be able to get back in for $9 a month. So go to tpshgoalie.com, check it out. Let me know if you have any questions, leave your comments down below and I'll do my best to answer them as soon as possible. So anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.